Good morning. It is August 29th, Thursday, 2019, and we are doing our homeschool. Lila has done her math, and now she's working on her language arts. It is Ellie's turn for homeschool. Now she's counting how many apples there are. This is the first... Okay, apples. Yep, yeah, apples. This is One, the... two, three, four. Right, put it right there. This is the Genesis curriculum from Easy Peasy All in One Homeschool. We've been using this for several years now. I feel like I am so behind today. It's 10:45, and I am just now starting laundry. But thankfully, it's just one load today. I am headed out in just a minute to take their girls to school and go fabric shopping. So it's a little cool today and a little rainy. So I've got on this very very light cold shoulder top and yeah okay so I thought I would explain before I go into town because I doubt I will film much in town but I am headed down to downtown Aredia to look at some fabric I need red white and blue fabric because I am making six t-shirts for Lila's um hula hoop <laughs> team I'm not making that up they have Independence Day coming up and they're going to be doing some parades and her team is actually already um they've already done a school parade and then they've done a parade um with other schools it was like an arts festival and so they get to participate in the independence day parade too and so we decided as a group of moms that we want them to all match so i offered to make their shirts so i'm gonna go buy the fabric for that and i will try to get a shot at least of what the fabric store looks like but i doubt i'll do any talking because i feel weird so I totally forgot to record anything while I was inside, but that is the store I went to and I got everything I needed and a little bit more. And I will show you when I get home. I think my lunch is kind of funny, so I thought I'd show you. I have um, gallo pinto, which is the beans and rice, with um, salsa lisano and some natija, And then I have a leftover burrito from Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly what you think I'd be eating here in Costa Rica. Well, the guy pinto, yes, but the, the Taco Bell burrito, not exactly. I am getting ready to sew up my uh, surprise project, just do the finishing touches on it. I didn't have a chance the other day, or yesterday, I guess. But when I went shopping earlier, I also bought thread, and I wanted to show you. I thought it was really interesting. So, like, I haven't had to buy thread in, in years because I was given so much before we left. But this is, you know, kind of what you would buy at the craft store or whatever. Uh, you know, we're all pretty used to this. It says polyester, 100%, Coates and Clark. And then here in Costa Rica, it comes like this. And it also says 100% spun polyester. And it, it's, it's fairly cheap, too. So that's what's nice. At least I think I want to say these will I have to check my receipt, but I think they're around 50 cents for a spool it's not as big though you can tell well then again these might actually be a decent amount some of the ones i bought have been a lot smaller but yeah, i've had to start buying thread now and it's just it's very different this is kind of hilarious i just spent the last 10 minutes or so hot gluing these toys that we bought for elijah for his birthday because here there's like either the toys are super cheap or they are crazy expensive so we usually go for super cheap but that means they fall apart really easy so I just finished hot gluing these legs on all these little signs in place and all the like the lights and the little signs so yeah so hopefully oh and he <laughs> he just brought me this he already took it apart <laughs> My fabric has been washed and dried, and I don't know about you, but like I enjoy this kind of thing. So I would like to know how much did it come out to a yard in dollars, because that's kind of something I struggle like oh, yeah. doing the conversion in my head when I'm in the store. I just kind of have an idea when I'm buying it, but I have to really look at the receipt and break it down. So I got this um, stretch lace in Spanish. It's called Encaje, and it was on sale and it was 200 or two dollars and 64 cents a yard and i think that was a really good deal i know that stretch lace can be really expensive and this it's not like the best quality but it's not bad and then i got this um she called it punto 
and I, a, a lot of things get called punto here. I think it's cotton lycra, but I'm really not sure. Punto, punto. I need to, I need to get a better idea of what punto is. Punto is kind of everything. Is something I've been told before, and so that was also on sale, and it was only a dollar sixty-seven a yard. And so for this is great for me to use to practice. And then the three fabrics that I got to make the shirts for Lila's uh, classmates, the um, white, which is called Lycra, just she just called it Lycra. And this doesn't really, none of these have any, these are all very synthetic. These two have a little bit of cotton perhaps, but these are all, or a little bit of natural fibers, but these are all synthetic. So the Lycra was $3.69 a yard. So that was the most expensive of what I bought. Um, but I do think it will hold up very well. And then the um, the two sort of sport knits. I don't know if you can really see. It's got little hole, little, little tiny, I mean tiny little holes. It's like what you would, you know, make a sport shirt or some shorts out of, which I hope to do that with some of the leftovers. I do intend to have leftovers of this. I bought more than I needed, but I'm only going to charge the parents for what I actually use, and I'm not going to charge them for my time, uh, just for my materials so I can cover my costs. But anyways, so these two were the same price, and they were $2.35 a yard. And then I actually already put my thread on here, but I showed you the thread earlier. I was right on the money. The thread was only 50 cents a spool, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. We are waiting for Lila to get out of school, and Ellie is playing with one of her classmates over here in the park, and she's having the best time. And I also say that just for right now, it feels like fall. I wanted to prove that we do actually eat healthy. <laughs> a lot of the meals I've put on here already have not been that healthy, but homemade chicken and rice soup. Thank you, Chef Jeremy, and some cabbage salad and some bread. The last thing I'm doing tonight before Qualinit quits for the day, or I just finished really, was to make the custom pattern pieces for the shirts that I'm going to be making from the red, white, and blue fabric. And I went and measured the kids at the school today, and thankfully they only fell into two sizes, and then it was e easy for me to customize how long. I am taking a waistband from a different pattern to add to this one, so that is why um, it's so much shorter <laughs> than the um, original t-shirt calls for. But uh, I'm excited, so tomorrow I can start cutting that fabric. So that is it for today, Thursday, August 29th.